Take a look around the world. The one thing most people seem to be able to agree on is things are not the way they should be. How do we make sense of all the pain, division, destruction, brokenness? We believe there is a story that actually makes sense of all of this. It's the true story of the Bible, and it's the true story of the whole world. The story you and I live in. In the beginning of this story, things were much different. The one who made all of it, God, created a good world full of potential for life and wonder. He made it all to be good, right, and beautiful. And among his creation, a unique creature. Humans, to be his representatives to the rest of the world. Out of love, he formed the first two humans to partner with him in caring for his creation. They had the job of bringing out the hidden potential of God's good work and enjoyed a life of peace with God, with one another, and with the world. But the first humans rebelled against God, and instead of trusting and working alongside him, they tried to take things into their own hands. They believed a lie from one of the creatures that God was holding back good things from them. They wanted to rule, not under God's reign, but in place of Him. They wanted to have control over their own lives. If we're honest, you and I have some of that rebellion in our hearts today, too. God warned that if they didn't trust Him, it would bring death, but they didn't listen. This rebellion is called sin, and it brought a curse over not just the humans, but all of God's good creation, the creation humans were supposed to care for. Everything began to die. God clothed them in their shame, but promised a rescue would one day come. In love, God removed them from the garden, but humans continued in a cycle of fear, shame, arrogance, and violence. Many years later, God chose another human, Abram, to make a new covenant promise with. God wanted to continue his partnership with humans, so he gave Abram a family, and that family grew into a nation called Israel. God promised to bless all the other nations of the world through Israel. But just like the first humans, the people of Israel continued to rebel against God. When all seemed lost, God was faithful to his promise. His promised rescue finally came through one man, Jesus. Jesus was born into a family through Israel, keeping God's promise to bless all nations through that people. But he was also born of the Spirit of God, the only one who has been able to uphold the partnership between God and humans. In fact, he was God himself, come down in the flesh. In the form of a human, he began reversing the effects of sin's curse by healing, feeding, teaching, and even bringing the dead back to life. Jesus was the truest form of human, partnering perfectly with his Father God to bless all of creation. But once again, the other humans rebelled, this time by murdering Jesus on a Roman torture device called the cross. Yet God's plan was in full effect. When he died, Jesus took on the full curse of creation and the consequence of humanity's rebellion. Then, just as he had brought others back to life with God's power, the Spirit of God raised Jesus from the dead too. His resurrection defeated the curse of sin and death once and for all. Restoration had begun. New creation was here, and Jesus was the true and risen King of all creation. The risen Jesus went to prepare a home for humans to live with God forever in perfect partnership. But before he left, he promised the Spirit of God would come to empower all humans who followed him as king. God's Spirit would empower humans to follow Jesus and share the good news that God is restoring the world. All humans are now invited to give up their rebellion and partner with God in his Spirit, living according to his story. Forgiveness, hope, and salvation are possible because of Jesus. This is the church, the part of the story we find ourselves in today, and you and I are invited to be part of it. One day, Jesus will return to judge the world and finally make it the way it is supposed to be. He will bring justice, healing, and wholeness. There will be no more tears, pain, sickness, brokenness, or death. The plans God had for his creation at the beginning will not fail. Those who have followed Jesus as king and have trusted him by faith to be rescued will forever enjoy his presence and partner with him to care for his creation. But those who choose not to give their allegiance to Jesus will be forever separated from God's new creation community. We pray for Jesus to come back quickly and for many to trust in him. Until that day, we want to partner with God's spirit and learn how to take up our role more faithfully in this true story. Where do you see yourself in this story?